Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, we clearly have some sort of algebraic fraction, some sort of what we call a rational expression. And uh, typically, you might be asked to uh, simplify, which kind of means like reduce. We have a fraction, so you know, just like you have a fraction like 20 over 30, you, know, you would want to reduce that fraction. So same thing here. Now, uh, again, this is a pretty common type of algebra problem, but I would say like 50% of new algebra students or people studying algebra maybe for the first time will make this common error. And it's very easy to make, so I'm not trying to uh, make anyone feel bad. However, making mistakes is part of learning math. The key, though, is to learn from you, uh, those mistakes so you don't make them anymore. So we're going to cover this problem um, in precise detail, and hopefully you'll walk away with uh, a aha moment, and you'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, if you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, pre-calculus, everything in between. I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, teacher certification exam, ASVAB, just any test that has math on it, I can help you with. And then I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. Now, one of the things you need to do uh, to be great at mathematics is to take excellent top-notch notes. So take a look at your notes and, you know, be honest with yourself. If your notes need improvement, that is a, like your number one area that uh, you can absolutely get a return on your investment. The harder you work at your notes, the better you're going to do in your class. But in the meantime, uh, as you improve your notes, I have some notes that you can study from. You can use my notes. I'm going to leave a link, a links to all these notes and my math help program in the description of this video. All right, so let's go down and take a look at this problem. I'm not going to show you the solution just yet, but uh, if you want to just, you know, you can pause the video or just do this mentally. What is the answer here? Okay. Well, there's a couple different uh, pr primary um, responses to this. Okay. So I would say uh, the first response would be like, okay, I want to simplify this fraction. So maybe I can uh, cross cancel these guys right here. And that leaves me with T to the fifth. Okay. So that's one way I could think about it. Or maybe I can't do anything. Maybe I'm just stuck with this and I really can't simplify this. So maybe there's nothing to do. Okay. So which one is it? All right. Is it this or this? Now I would say, again, like 50% of, of uh, the students out there will say the answer is this, which is unfortunately incorrect. And now we have to put a little sad face here. And be like, wait, wait, hold on here. I can't I cross cancel this? I mean, this looks so tempting. It's just like right there, right? You got an H squared. You see the same thing up here. And you're just like, I just want to do that. You know, our mind's eye, especially in algebra or in mathematics, you want to cross cancel because you've been doing it so much. And you're like left with this um, answer. Now, this would be not an unreasonable way to think or to be, you know, to kind of look at this problem and want to do this, right? So don't feel bad about this. You're on the right track. However, you're not allowed uh, to do this. I'm going to explain this uh, in a second in more detail. But let's take a look at a similar kind of problem, okay? I'm going to erase this. Let's use numbers to make this point, right? Now, what you want to do, what you're trying to do, right, is this. If I have uh, 10 over 6, and I say reduce that fraction, what you're really doing when you reduce this fraction, you're saying, okay, 10, what is 10? That's 5 times 2, and then 6 is uh, 2 times 3, right? Mentally, that's what you're doing, and you're going to uh, be looking for common factors. So this factor and this factor are common, and I can cross cancel common factors. So this leaves me with the answer five thirds, right? So this is how um, your mind basically reduces uh, fractions with numbers. Now this has variables. So you're kind of thinking, oh, like this two and this two down here, these are factors and these H squares might've tricked you into being like, oh, these are factors I could cross cancel these guys. I see this and this, I can do what I did over here. 
No, you cannot. Okay, now why is that the case? Well, these numbers, these values are separated by multiplication. This, these are uh, factors, okay? We call these factors. These are not factors. This is separated by an addition symbol, okay? This is a sum, all right? Or uh, if you had a subtraction sign, it would be a difference there. So the only time you could cross cancel is when these things are separated by multiplication, not addition, all right? Now, again, it's a very, very common mistake. And, you know, if you made a mistake, then, you know, the whole idea behind this video is to learn from it. So let's take a look at this a little bit more thoroughly. Let's say I wanted to do this. Let's say I had 1 plus uh, 3 over um, 1, okay? This I well, let's see here. Will this make a point? Yeah, this will make our point, all right? So this is kind of a similar problem. Actually, let me put the 3 into 1 here. All right, so this is a pretty similar problem, right? So we're tempted. Our eyes kind of want to go like this. One, we want to cross-cancel the 1. So maybe, you know, if we use this kind of logic, our answer would be this. In this case, it would be 3, right? However, let's take a look at this a little bit further. 3 plus 1 divided by 1. What's 3 plus 1? Well, the last time I checked, that is 4. So 4 divided by 1 is 4, okay? And you can see 4 is not 3. So this is wrong, and this is correct, okay? All right, so don't be fooled by this. This is a pretty... A typical little sneaky problem that math teachers like to throw in there. Um, now, you can possibly factor, that's a whole other discussion, when you have sum and differences. But now let's go ahead and take a look at this problem, okay? So we could just make our point. All right, can we simplify this? Um, we call this a rational expression. It's basically a fraction with a bunch of variable stuff in it. But now, if you're saying, hmm, yeah, I think we can do that, well, yes, you can, all right? So h squared and this h squared, these are factors. This is multiplication. So when you write variables next to one another, it, this is basically t to the fifth times h squared over h squared. So these guys here are common factors, and you can cross-cancel them, all right? So you can cross-cancel that, and now we do have t to the fifth, okay? All right, so again, you know, it might seem like a little trivial type of thing, but believe me when I tell you, you know, over uh, the decades of teaching mathematics, I've probably graded maybe 100 million test quizzes, homework, maybe not that much, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but I've graded a lot <laughs> of homeworks, tests, quizzes. You see the trends? I'm sure I was making these mistakes way back in the good old 1980s when I was in school, um, but, you know, our mind, our eye sometimes plays a uh, tricks on us and we get a little bit quick to want to do something especially now as we're like oh i know what to do i can just do that wrong 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 okay all right so if this video was helpful and if you're like yeah i think i would have made, made that mistake then that you know the whole idea is to learn in advance okay do not do this when you see this situation so again if this video helped you out please consider smashing that like button that helps me out and if you're new to my, uh, my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. So if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of content uh, there on my channel there for you. You know, my goal is always to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. And I'm posting new content all the time. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.